we are a research team from the DIST, the Inter-University Department of Regional and Urban Studies and Planning of the Politecnico and University of Turin. We wish to talk about our project Arte per Strada Torino. Uh, it consists in a portal containing the first complete census of artworks in public spaces in Turin and its belt. It also collects links and cross-references to other portals, publications and documents on this topic. Turin is living an epochal transformation phase. For most of the 20th century has been an industrial city, the, the one company town of, of Fiat. Since the 19th, it has been searching for a new identity. Uh, local administration have increasingly focused on tourism, culture and art as a new strategic development access. Urban spaces have been radically transformed. Square kilometers of dismissed industrial areas have been reconverted into new districts. Um, new houses, shopping centers, service and parks have been built. Public art plays an increasingly important role in such planning interventions. It is gradually expanding in number and locations, reaching districts that had never hosted artworks before. In order to document this phenomenon, starting in uh, 2017, a research team from DIST carried out a complete census of all artworks in public spaces in Turin, the first one made in an Italian city. Existing party, partial repertoires were identified, collected and organized. A campaign of interviews with qualified operators like art associations and public project managers was then carried out. Finally, a capillary inspection was, was started, district by district, street by street, in search of other lesser known works of art, unrelated to more structured projects and often expression of underground cultures. A first collection was published in the 2017 in uh, the volume by Bolle, Davico and Shira. In uh, the two years period, 2021-2022, the census of children's public art was deepened, updated and supplemented. A website was developed as a public display of the census because it is a flexible and continuously updatable communication tool. Therefore, it is useful for uh, adequately documenting a constantly evolving heritage su such as that of public art. Each work was photographed and catalogued by author, title, Year of creation, category, project, address, district or municipality, geographical coordinates, author of the photography, and any links for further information. The data were collected into a database, later used to compile the HTML files. In many cases, it was impossible keeping track of the author's names or the work's title, as well as the project or year of realization. The, loca the location on the territory is ident identified by the street address, the district, or in the case of the city of Turin, or, or the municipality in the belt, 
and the geographical coordinates expressed in degrees obtained from the metadata of the photograph taken. Each tab on the site shows one or more photographs of the works, the catalog data and a topographical map with toponymic indication, with a marker, this one, uh, indicating uh, the location of the work from which the Google Street View screen can be reached. The cards can be accessed by, uh, through a textual list divided into city, district, and municipality in the best, from a photo gallery like this, or an in interactive map. Uh, now Paola will tell you about the, the map. Uh, the interactive map was created using the cartography software QGIS. Uh, it is a free software. In the table you saw a few slides earlier. Uh, there were the geographical coordinates in two columns. Those we use to georeference or rather find the location of the works on the territory. Then the Carto DB Positron by OpenStreetMap was used as the base map. Uh, the internal shapefile attribute table was prepared by, um, by bringing back uh, from the general census databases. All the essential, um, essential information for creating the WebGIS. Then HTML code string were created because uh, there was useful to add the function to the pop-up. Finally, the map was made uh, interactive using uh, the um, QGIS2 uh, web plugin, exported and inserted uh, into the site. From the web, the user can uh, um, select different uh, zoom levels search uh, by address and uh, measure uh, distance over the territory. This function uh, can be found in the upper left hand corner. The position of uh, each work is uh, um, indicated by a triangular symbol on the interactive map. Clicking on a symbol, a pop-up window opens. It contains the um, then mail uh, of the picture of the work or a detail of it. The category to which it belongs, the street address, and a link to access the card. Uh, six categories of work uh, were uh, identified uh, multiple painting, uh, such as uh, J walls, single paintings, installation, mosaic, uh, panels, uh, and sculpture. Then the point element uh, were selected according to the six categories uh, of works. Uh, at the end, six layers of a different color were created depending on the type. On the type. As uh, can be seen in the slide, uh, the user can act independently on the legend, for example, enabling or disabling information layers in order uh, to display a single topic of interest. On the next slide, other uh, pages uh, of the site uh, will be displayed. First of all, uh, it is uh, noted that uh, the pages 
um, of the site or in uh, are in Italian or English languages. The home page, for example, explain the history of this project and the purpose of the portal. The other pages, uh, not yet uh, described, contain in order from left uh, to right um, who we are, the photo gallery, the textual list of cards, and the interactive map. The page who we are comprises the name of all the participants in uh, various uh, capacities in the project. On the document, uh, document page are collected several bibliographic documents and links to cite about street art. From the contact page, you can fill out a form to send reports on new, modified or missing works, as much as any errors found in the site. An Instagram page of the project was recently created. Here, photographs of the works are posted with related census data. The work are um, uh, posted uh, regularly one or two times a week. The site is uh, updated about uh, twice a year and the cataloging of works is independent, but not only that. During the last update, the page has been enriched with new contents. In the future, it will be expanded to integrate some new items, such as the site of works, the technique used, and the state of preservation. Another topic of interest revolves around the works lost or replaced. Finally, uh, only for sculptures, we are planning to experiment with uh, uh, creating uh, dynamic 3D models to add to traditional static uh, views. Luca? Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Uh, so, uh, uh, what are still today the main outcomes uh, of the research of our research at the Presidio da Torino? Um, until now, we detected about uh, 1,400 uh, works uh, created in Torino and uh, in its belt uh, between 1990 and uh, uh, April 2023. Um, our works that have uh, so, so far been uh, surveyed and documented on the website. As for categories uh, quoted uh, now by Paola, the majority of the works are war paintings, especially singles, uh, followed by installations, sculptures, and few mosaics. Uh, the following chart uh, shows uh, the highest growth in the number of public artworks in Torino, with an um, acceleration, evident acceleration in the last decade. Uh, this impressive growth depends largely on a real increase in the number of artworks, uh, but also on the realization of new paintings uh, superimposed on others created in previous year, uh, uh, years. Um, hence, the growth effect shown in this chart is part, uh, partly amplified by the disappearance of some works realized years ago, um, about uh, which we we uh, now uh, have a project to document them uh, in the future, also uh, on uh, our uh, on our website. Uh, during last decades uh, in Torino, the public artworks uh, spread, especially in the outskirts. Uh, so, um, uh, if you um, as you can see. If until the 
70s, only the 30% of the artworks were located outside the downtown. This share uh, had uh, already increased to uh, 55% in the 90s, and today it reaches 80%. So the uh, wide majority of uh, work arts at out uh, of the uh, downtown of Torino. As for the style, the research team of Arte per Strada Torino attempted the not easy, really, a classification of the works, defining so far four main categories. Uh, cartoonish, the majority in which uh, character-like features and comic style prevail. Uh, another considerable category is that of abstract works, characterized by geometric shapes uh, in which uh, figures uh, are not uh, recognizable, or people, animals, or objects uh, are represented in highly stylized, uh, stylized form. In uh, realistic works, conversely, subjects are portrayed uh, as naturally as possible. As you can see on the on the left uh, corner uh, of this uh, slide, and uh, and we, uh, in writing uh, includes uh, in the, this category uh, various and more or less elaborate uh, techniques uh, such as lettering, tags, etc. The most represented subject category is that of living beings. Uh, primarily people, then animals, uh, uh, as for animals, mainly wild animals, above, uh, above all uh, reptile and amphibious species, uh, then elephants, ungulates uh, like deers, bucks, uh, and so on, lions, monkeys. In the case of uh, human beings, uh, male uh, figures predominate. Uh, there are approximately the uh, 55% of people representing in the artworks. Uh, women are less, around 33rd, uh, approximately a third of the total. Uh, and the eight persons consist of uh, undefined figures, uh, typical of the abstract style in which uh, a human silhouette is represented with undefined features. As for the different age groups, uh, young figures uh, prevail largely, around 40%, then adults, 18%. Uh, very few works uh, uh, depict children or elderly people, uh, like uh, this, this, uh, in this uh, artwork, is uh, an, it's an exception because we have a, a child and an elder uh, man. Um, as uh, uh, from a, from an ethnic, uh, ethnic perspective, uh, signs of the transition of Torino towards a multi-ethnic city are also emerging in the world of public art. Uh, in fact, the majority of people depicted in the works, uh, okay, um, around uh, fifty percent are white-skinned, but the number of blacks and people belonging to other ethnic groups uh, like Hispanic, Indian. Arabic Oriental is significant now. Furthermore, uh, in eight percent of uh, the artworks depict uh, the same time people of different uh, ethnic groups, uh, and uh, around thirty percent of the case uh, uh, of the cases somatic features are not characterized. Uh, thus, referring to a generic belonging of the subject uh, to a uh, human race. Finally. We have uh, also 15% uh, of people depicted in the artworks uh, who, who are well-known personalities uh, with the prevalence of uh, politicians, um, iconic figures, uh, for, uh, for instance, from fairy tales, uh, mythology, etc., uh, comic heroes, uh, uh, and, uh, so, um, and also writers or poets. One of the main causes of the recent great expansion of public art is the growing belief that it can contribute to the uh, redevelopment of uh, urban public space. In any case, uh, the outcomes of urban regeneration are quite different, uh, uh, we think, especially in relation with the size of our worlds. 
for instance, the works of medium small size have a uh, on uh, uh, the urban fabric and effect similar to a mending, a concept evoked a few years ago by the architect Renzo Piano with regard to micro intervention that redevelop uh, uh, small urban spaces. Here we can see some examples of this kind of uh, medium small artworks. Uh, the shots taken from Street View before the artistic intervention are uh, juxtaposed to current images uh, with the new artworks. And so the effect of uh, changing of the perception of urban space, uh, I, we think, is, uh, is uh, extremely clear and evident. Uh, as for the broader works, uh, such as those on the blindside walls of building or on extensive boundary walls, probably produce the greatest effect uh, both on the urban uh, environment and on citizens' perceptions. Uh, we can see here uh, other examples concerning the urban effects of this uh, type of uh, big artworks. And so uh, the uh, the issue of the redevelopment of uh, urban space uh, has uh, close connections with the topic of the relationship between artwork and the public space where it is created or installed. Uh, this topic had a central role throughout the history of public art, at least since uh, the 70s, in the debate about site-specific artworks. That is to say, works designed specifically uh, for a peculiar urban context. As for Torino, about one uh, third of the artworks uh, reveals an explicit community goal. Among these uh, clear messages, the most common reference is uh, exactly for the local district in which the work was carried out, thus confirming a relevant focus by many artists uh, on the local context. That's that for us. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you very much. You didn't see us, but everybody was uh, captivated by your interesting talk. And uh, with that, I would like uh, to ask the audience here uh, if you have any questions. Yes, please, Liliana. And could I ask you maybe to come closer to the microphone because uh, then it's easier for them uh, to hear you. Okay, so my question is about uh, dissemination of this information. Like, how do you promote uh, your archive on uh, the first question? And the second one, could you elaborate a little bit more on your collaboration with the local tourist industry? Like, are, are they actually promoting your site or are you able to, you know, get... Um, people to, to visit uh, your site when they visit Torino. Thank you. Uh, we we answer directly now or there are other yes. questions? No, no, please. Uh, we uh, expect your answer now and then we have- uh, Okay, thank you. Um, as for uh, this nation, uh, and promotion of the, our archive. Yes, we we are building a, a quite a large network, especially with the, the administrations of the uh, of the different uh, villages around Torino, and uh, with uh, many associations, cultural and artistic association with schools uh, and other uh, partners. Uh, so uh, we are only in the beginning phase of our uh, our work because uh, the um, our website is online uh, uh, from uh, June uh, uh, 2022. So it's exactly uh, one year so we are online. And um, as for the um, touristic uh, collaboration, yes, uh, one of the our ambition is also to offer a sort of touristic platform to uh, discover uh, artworks around the, uh, in the Torino area. Uh, 
also for local tourists, uh, <laughs> the, the, also the citizen that uh, stay in Torino and uh, in this area, uh, to discover uh, this uh, in, important uh, and rich uh, uh, collection of uh, artworks. And uh, uh, as for the uh, tourists from uh, from other parts of Italy, from abroad, we, we have um, uh, we are connected uh, with the um, agency that is uh, Turismo Torino that. Uh, officially, uh, uh, the institution to promote uh, tourism in uh, our area, and uh, um, our uh, our website is linked on the on page about uh, art, uh, contemporary art, uh, on the website of uh, uh, Turismo Torino. Thanks a lot. Um, do we have other questions? Yes, please. Hello, my name is Konstantin. I'm from a street art project in Vienna. I wonder, um, this project is pretty centered on Torino. Do you have like collaborations for other parts of Italy and same thing happening in other cities or just happening in Torino? Uh, I'm not not sure to uh, well understood, but uh, uh... maybe I can I can repeat a bit louder. Yeah. Uh, so the question was basically, if I uh, <laughs> frame it correctly, if you have uh, other collaborations, um, ah, why is this link following? Yeah. If you have uh, collaborations with uh, other cities or other institutions outside of uh, Torino, and um, we are uh, building uh, collaborations with. Uh, other uh, Italian cities. Uh, I mean, for instance, uh, with an association uh, uh, that uh, work in Rome, for instance, about street art in Rome. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I repeat again, we are <laughs> in, in progress. So is one of the, the, the project we have to implement the, 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 the collaboration of our network with other Italian cities. Uh, one of the characteristics is the um, uh, our is the the first uh, complete uh, census in Italian cities. Uh, I mean that in other uh, for for other Italian cities we um, we have a collection a partial collection of uh, artworks uh, street artworks. Uh, and um, only a, a selection in many cases, very, very, very few uh, artworks are on the website. And uh, our ambitions uh, was uh, to build the, the first uh, co quite complete. Uh, obviously, um, some uh, artworks could uh, be not on our website, but with the, the first uh, complete collection. So. Um, as for the collaboration with other Italian cities, the problem is also to uh, update the the archive of other cities uh, to do the, the same level of uh, quite complete uh, census uh, uh, that characterizes uh, our website. Mm -hmm. uh, we end also this, this problem. For instance, in Rome, we have different websites about the uh, uh, street art, but uh, none of them are uh, complete. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, we have time for one more question. Yes, please. <laughs> Just need to approach the microphone. Hi, my name is Francisca, um, and I was wondering something about your last slides you were talking about perception and i was wondering uh how did you approach this perception uh yeah uh, okay that's actually the freaky topic <laughs> um with the main faces uh now uh, we we present only uh, a visual perception of uh, the walls before and after the 
realization of our works is one of the dimension of perception. This is the normal perception that the citizen ha has when uh, uh, walk around uh, the streets of Torino, for instance. Um, another level uh, is to ask uh, citizens about their perception of uh, uh, street art in, in Torino and uh, if they appreciate uh, them or not. And uh, the result we 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 are uh, we wrote in the in the paper we presented uh, uh, are uh, quite important because the majority of citizens uh, um, appreciate a lot the intervention the art intervention uh, in uh, on the on the walls of the. the Three districts in which um, in which the, the were realized the uh, interviews and surveys. Uh, not uh, is uh, also interesting that is um, uh, from these surveys uh, uh, we have different level of appreciation for different kind of. Uh, uh, artworks, for instance, uh, the quite realistic uh, artworks are generally speaking more appreciated than the abstract ones, for instance. Uh, also, because abstract uh, uh, artworks are more difficult to understand uh, to uh, in the perception of uh, of citizens. So, uh, some of the 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 the, the first result we. Uh, we 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 reach with the sound uh, of these uh, songs. Thanks a lot for the answer. We wouldn't even have time for uh, one more question. <laughs> yes, please. We have one more question. Um, hi, my name is Johannes, and I want to ask you if you did already some research on the um, diachronic uh, trends and uh, the topics you presented in the last part of the talk. Thank you. No, if uh, there are sort of trends in the in the subjects represented in the artworks. Is is that? Yeah, but about the time, um, about the chronology, if you have any uh, ideas at what time, which uh, topics were mostly uh, used, for example. So the question was if you uh, saw any trends in uh, at what times uh, topics were used. So if there are any uh, like hotspots, maybe, or uh, temporal uh, patterns that you saw in your data. Uh, the, you, the, 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 the results we presented about the contents of the artworks are the, the first results uh, the, the, based on the first elaboration we, we did uh, in the just in the last uh, in the last weeks so uh, the, the, also the analysis are in, in progress. And so um, I have to own up that we don't have uh, so far uh, crossed the, the the year of uh, realization of the artworks with the, the contest. Uh, it, it, it could be a, 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 another possible elaboration uh, we, we, we do in the next future. 